So my friend Luke, uh, his family just uh, bought a house in Nazana. It's a beautiful area along South Africa's coast with a lovely lagoon. Um, and we're coming to the house now just to spend a, a weekend of here. I was invited last minute. It was nine and a half degrees when we left Port Elizabeth and raining really hard, hence the big fluffy hat. Uh, but blue skies now, it's nice and warm. So I think it's about time to get the boat in the water and uh, spend some time enjoying the weather. We just got here to Nasna, put the boat in the water. It was raining like crazy on the way up, but we put the boat in. We're just gonna go for a quick ride, see what's happening in the lagoon, maybe take some footage and some photos. So right now we are in the Nasna Lagoon. That over there, that gap there in the, the rocks, that's the Nasna Heads, uh, very well known. That's where the lagoon meets the sea. A lot of sharks there. Uh, there's actually a shipwreck also in the Nasna Heads that sank to the bottom there. Um, and then right behind us, that is Leisure Island. Um, that is where we are staying at the moment. Um, the two islands in the lagoon, Leisure Island, which is that one over there, uh, where the peasants stay. <laughs> and then that one down there, which is Tyson Island, where the not peasants stay <laughs> where the, the big houses are um, but I mean it doesn't matter what your house looks like uh, if you're in an area like this you're gonna have a good time and that's why people live here we're in the mouth here the, in the Nazna lagoon and actually Pretty much right under us, just to the left, there's a wreck that sunk here a long time ago that's actually quite popular for snorkeling. My original plan for today was to sit at home and do nothing because it was raining cats and dogs outside and it was less than 10 degrees Celsius. Um, and then Luke phoned me, I'm guessing probably around 10 or 11 or 12 o'clock and said, Matt, we're going to Nasna, do you want to come? And I said, okay, cool, what time? This is in half an hour we're leaving. <laughs> Pack your stuff. So I just chucked some stuff together. Um, Luke came to pick me up and we went off to Nasna. Um, really glad I decided to come. The weather's amazing. People are great. <laughs> I say they're great, they're a bit weird. <laughs> oh my goodness, Luke, no, he stopped me. <laughs> but we're having Imagine a good time. I let go. Oh, oh my word. Word. <laughs> Sorry, I almost get off the boat. And you limbs too. <laughs> Everything's okay. <laughs> so the big question is why do we all have long hair if we don't all surf? You surf. John surfs. John surfs. You, and you're from California. It's so expensive. <laughs> John's a surfer. I'm not a surfer but I surf. I'd rather Luke, be Luke has no administration hair. skills to book a haircut. <laughs> and Matt's got that far, he might as well not cut it anyways. And I just like long hair. I see it as natural camouflage and natural protection from the sun. I don't know if to wear a hat on the back of my head. I'm like a ground squirrel. It's so expensive to cut your hair. 110 bucks. That's like, that's, I can load like 11 rounds for that. That's sweet. I'm, I committed on Thursday and then no, my no, hairdresser no, no, no. was on leave. I, I need a haircut for graduation. Like, I have to have a haircut for graduation. You graduated. Pretty intense. He's getting old. <laughs> yeah. Jokes. I'm not a teenager. I'm getting old too. Which are you, a teenager? I haven't graduated. That's because I don't have any kind of formal tertiary <laughs> education at all. <laughs> I'm an unskilled person. <laughs> What are you what are you doing? Doing all of this. <laughs> <laughs> We're just warming our feet. But my water, we need more hot water. Add some hot water there. We're reactivating our feet today. We're defrosting our feet. Yeah. <laughs> 
full hand. I'm gonna send some guys. Four guys in the ball. <laughs> <laughs> After a rather hectic day, we were very cold and stressed out. But steak makes it a lot better. The proper South African way to end the day. <laughs> <laughs>